Hello everyone and welcome to this video about earthquakes. Earthquakes are one of the most powerful and destructive natural phenomena on our planet. They occur when energy stored in the Earth's crust is suddenly released, causing the ground to shake and leading to an earthquake. But what exactly causes this energy to be released? The Earth's outer layer, or crust, is made up of several large plates that interact with each other and move in slow, gradual ways. When two plates grind against each other, they can create a buildup of pressure and energy. If this pressure becomes too great, it can cause the plates to suddenly shift, releasing the stored energy and creating seismic waves. These seismic waves travel through the Earth's crust and cause the ground to shake, leading to an earthquake. The strength and duration of the shaking can vary greatly depending on the size of the release of energy and the type of rock that the seismic waves are passing through. There are several different types of earthquakes, but the most common are tectonic earthquakes. These are caused by the movement of tectonic plates and occur along plate boundaries. For example, when two plates converge, or move towards each other, one plate may slip under the other, causing a buildup of pressure that is eventually released in an earthquake. In addition to tectonic earthquakes, there are also earthquakes caused by volcanic activity, underground explosions, and human activities such as the construction of large dams. Volcanic earthquakes occur when magma and ash are released from a volcano, while underground explosions can be caused by the use of underground nuclear tests or other forms of underground blasting. Human activities such as the construction of large dams can also cause earthquakes by altering the balance of stress in the Earth's crust. The Richter scale is commonly used to measure the magnitude, or size, of an earthquake. The Richter scale is a logarithmic scale meaning that a small increase in the magnitude of an earthquake corresponds to a huge increase in the energy released. For example, a magnitude 6 earthquake is 10 times more powerful than a magnitude 5 earthquake, and a magnitude 7 earthquake is 100 times more powerful than a magnitude 5 earthquake. Earthquakes can have a devastating impact on communities and infrastructure. The shaking caused by an earthquake can cause buildings and roads to collapse, leading to injury and death. Earthquakes can also trigger tsunamis and other geological events, such as landslides and rockfalls, which can further increase the damage and destruction caused by the earthquake. In conclusion, earthquakes are a powerful and unpredictable natural phenomenon that can have serious consequences for communities and infrastructure. Understanding the underlying causes of earthquakes and their impact on communities is important for reducing the risk of damage and injury from future earthquakes. Thank you for watching this video about earthquakes. I hope you found it informative and interesting. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more great content. See you in the next video.